red velvet chocolate chip cheesecake bars um, if you want to know how to make this recipe I'll have it linked down below for you guys to go and try it out and if you decide to make these cheesecake bars tag me on Twitter and my Twitter will be linked down below so you can tag me there and the first clip to this video was a sneak peek of the Oreo cheesecake that I made this morning I, um, no, I did not film it because my cousin and my grandmother were helping me and I forgot to film just me, but that's okay. You guys get to see how I make my red velvet chocolate chip cheesecake bars, which are going to be really good. Um, but before we get on to this video, you guys have to do two things for me. One, subscribe to be part of our family. And two, hit the bell to be part of the sister squad so you'll never miss another video again. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my cooking video so far. And if you guys want to see more cooking videos, then comment down below of what you want me to cook next. And the comment with the most likes, I will do that. And now on to the cheesecake bars. So to make this red velvet chocolate chip cheesecake bars, you're going to need half a cup of unsalted butter. I got the basil butter sticks. They come pre-measured, so it helped me a lot to measure that out. And then you're going to need one egg and then the cake mix. This is the cake mix I'm using. You can get any red velvet cake mix. You don't have to use this specific one but that's the one that I'm using so I'm gonna put my egg in and I'll be right so now I'm going to add the cake mix into my bowl make sure it's all in there I'm just gonna put my scraps into the box along with my egg I already added the egg so now I'm going to mix everything up with my, where did I put my whisk? Oh, my green whisk. I got this from Michael's. She used a big old bowl or something. So I'm going to mix this and I'll be right back. I almost forgot the most important step. <laughs> Before you do that was during. We're going to set our oven to 350. Cook time 30 minutes. Oh, that's a little too much. And right there, no. Let's get my finger, otherwise, I can actually undo it. Okay, and start. And now back to. Now back to what I was doing. So I'll see you guys. We'll so after you're done doing the dough, you're gonna press it into a nine by thirteen inch pan. So this pan I'm using, your dough should look like this. And now let's move on to making the cheesecake part. So basically, this is what the cheesecake mix is gonna look like. You're gonna add cream cheese. One fourth cup of sugar, one fourth cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one egg. Mix all together, and it's basically going to look like this. I'm going to transfer this to the bowl and put it in the oven. And again, you're going to preheat your oven before you do all this, unlike me, to 350. And then you're going to bake it for 30 minutes. So I will see you guys once this is all baked. And there we have it guys. A red velvet chocolate chip cheesecake bars. Mine, I burnt the edges a, a wee bit. That's because it wasn't, like 
the other part was fine. We're just the middle was not cooked still and it took a while so that's why mine is a little bit burnt. If you guys decide to try this recipe, I'll have the recipe in the description box down below if you guys go and try. Also, if you decide to try this recipe yourself, take a picture and tag me on Twitter. My Twitter screen will be somewhere on the screen. And now for the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, if you decide to try this recipe, take a picture, tag me on Twitter. My Twitter screen will be, uh, my Twitter username will be right here. And if you guys want to see more cooking videos, leave a comment down below what kind of cooking video you guys would like to see next. And the comment with the most likes I will do. That's a wrap on this cooking video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for a new video. Bye!